was Saturday for you? Oh, you know me, I absolutely hate losing and how we lost in the dying moments of the game or setting quite a bit. As I expect us to win on how we played during the first half of the game and into the second half a little bit. But I feel like we we fell off. In the end. So, if you'd have walked away with a draw at the end of it, would that have felt like a fair result? Or did you feel that you'd done more than enough to take all three points? With how the game turned around, it would have felt better to draw rather than lose in the dying moments. But obviously I would have rather have kept the lead and probably gone for more and won. Having had your spell at Wickham the season before last on loan and then not played in the league at all last year, was that kind of a reminder about sort of what you'd missed about first team football on Saturday? Oh yeah, of course I've missed it a lot. It's not kids football no more. It's a real thing. And is the biggest difference not only the physicality but the speed of thought of the players around you in the sense that everybody does things that much that much quicker. Yeah, it's more the organisation side, how organised the teams are and how it's hard to break down. It's not like he will leave his mind, it's like everyone's on their man. It's, it's different in that sense. And has, and did Gary give you a, a free-ish role in a sense? Because you weren't playing right up the top along with... Mo and Danny, it was kind of a, you were just tucked in behind, weren't you? Yeah, I could basically roam the left-hand side, but as long as I'm back in the, my position when we're defending, he's happy. And how, from a discipline point of view, are you with that? Are, are you more of a, a free spirit that would love, love to get forward, but you're conscious that, look, there is defensive duty in, in my role as well? I'm a free spirit, but I sure can get a job done as well. So, given what you've seen of the squad in, in, in pre-season, are you are we excited is the right word? Are, are you excited by the potential of the players around you, both the more experienced boys and the younger ones? Of course I'm excited because that's only one game at the weekend out of how many there's another 40 odd to go. So, how can I not be excited? And who, who, are, the, who are the more experienced heads in the side who are trying to to steer the younger ones like yourself? i say Stas helps a lot because he's sitting just behind me in the in the midfield and he gives a lot of good info and i say he helps me the most out of using the team to my position because I haven't played centre mid really at this level before so I'm still learning. Is it constant instruction from him? I wouldn't say it's constant constant instruction is instruction when I need it which I suppose is fine that's that, that that is only what you want isn't it yeah exactly not too much not too little no, exactly <laughs> you're right um have you spoken yet about Oxford or have you is, is that something that will happen later on today that will happen later on today right okay do you have um do you have any concept about what a league one side will be like in terms of quality and pace because they've had a good start to the season they had a good, good win at, at Oldham on Saturday I don't really know I don't really care to be honest what league they're in I'm ready for whatever I don't really see a league one team as better than us or a championship team as better than us because at the end of the day we're all human and we're all in the same game Who at Aston Villa were your sort of mentors and influences to get you to where you are now? Um, while I was at Aston Villa, I started, you mean the coaches? Yes. I started with Tony McAndrew and Ben Petty, and then it moved on to Stuart Taylor and Sid Cowens, and then finished with Kevin Mack and Mark Delaney. But also there was other people behind who weren't actually my coaches that were there also. That's quite an experienced group, isn't it? People who have played a lot of senior games at a very high level. Yeah, it is. They, they were good while I was there. And you say Sid Cowens, I mean, Gordon Cowens, as, as most people will know him. Is he... He was the person, I think, who had the real reputation for pulling talent through. Yeah, he could well have been. And also Kev Mack as well, because he, he left the club and he came back and he seems to pull a lot of players through. 
what's Gary's um, what's the word I want you're tongue tied yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's uh, what's Gary's vision for what's Gary's vision for your role is it more as, as a provider of goals rather than a scorer of goals I reckon it could be both I don't see why it should be one. I, I feel like he sees I could do both. And are you confident, given your goal record in other football before going to Cheltenham in junior levels, that you can do that? I can score goals, yeah. How do you think the players will respond to Saturday with a game on Tuesday? Do you think that actually you're keen to have another game straight away? Yeah, I think because we lost, we want to get our confidence back and make things right now, rather than wait a whole other week thinking about the game that's just passed. It's like we skip the thinking part and go straight on to another one. And in the pre-season, we've noticed that against Bristol City and Peterborough, I appreciate they're from a higher league, but they, they came on really strong strongly in the last 30 minutes of, of those friendlies. On Saturday, did you, you said about the way the game turned. Is that, is that one of the biggest challenges at the moment, to get those performances to go from 60 minutes to 90 minutes? I'm not sure exactly what it is, but we did struggle towards the end of the last game. But I can't really speak on every game that we've played. It's, I'm, I'm not sure. It's not, it's not fitness from your perspective. It's not that... Is it that is it that that long term match sharpness that because you've got some young boys like yourself that you will only get by playing those games Tuesday Saturday Tuesday Saturday? I think as we play more, the more solid we'll become, and the more adept to the game we'll become, and then we won't have this problem. Great, good, thank you.